Wood dyes. Is wood a suitable material for making stamp dyes for early Anglo-Saxon pots? Um, to test our hypothesis regarding wood, we started with three different wood types. These were oak, ash and hawthorn. We chose them because they're hard hardwoods and readily available to use. To explore if there are any differences between seasoned and green wood, we tested ash and hawthorn in both states. Using saws, we cut the pieces of wood to create flat surfaces appropriate for engraving onto our designs. We attempted to use knives to cut into these designs, but it, we found that it was too ineffective. This may be a reflection of our lack of experience in using knives to work with this kind of wood. Saws proved a much easier tool to engrave the designs into wood with. Although we predominantly used not saws, knives were used to shape the centre of the rosette design, um, as it was more suited to that, to that um, pointed end. <clears throat> the seasoned wood was much more difficult to engrave with, but it produced a much crisper design when stamped into the clay. Before we began stamping each die, um, each one was marked so that we were able to identify which die produced which impression after the clay tablets had been fired. Once they were engraved, the dies were used to impress our chosen motifs into leather hard clay. We decided to impress 50 times per stamp to determine if the stamps would clock and, and stop reproducing the design into clay. 50 impressions was chosen because it represents the median amount of die impressions that were found on the average sized early Anglo-Saxon stamped pot. We found that none of the wooden dies clogged and produced clear and crisp stamp impressions. However, the oak stamps flaked and began to leave inclusions within the clay. There was no difference between the seasoned and green wood regarding crispness of impression or time before clogging. Um, though the seasoned wood was easier to manipulate with the um, stamping. Our ultimate feeling was that wood was a really good material for making these stamp dies. Not only is it already formed in the kind of right, si right kind of size and shape for the kind of um, size stamps that you see on pots, um, it's also um, easy to man manipulate with the carving um, with many of the kind of more geometric designs um, and produces a really nice consistently clear image. Um, and while other people may have reported clogging that's not something that we experienced and that was after 50 impressions which would cover a good sized pot. Um, we did think that it would perhaps be not so quite so suitable a material for some of the more complex designs um, though that that's to bearing in mind our own skill level with wood. <laughs>